If you're anything like me, I used to spend time each month updating my PowerPoint presentations manually by deleting the old tables and charts and copying in the new ones. Let me know in the comments below if this is you too. I like to try and save time where I can and in this short video I'll show you how to set up your PowerPoint presentations so that this manual task becomes a thing of the past, enabling you to become way more efficient. Let's head over to the laptop and get straight into it. Here we have two official Excel tables and a chart. Our first Excel table has the financial performance for the month. The second table has the sales broken down by each product type and the chart is just the visual representation of the revenue breakdown. Our task each month is to update our PowerPoint slides with this information when it becomes available. First, let's take a look at how we deal with the financial performance table. What we're going to do is select the entire table, hit Control C, and then head over to PowerPoint. In here, we're going to head up to the paste icon at the top, and we're going to select paste special. That brings up a new dialog box, and we're going to select paste link and Microsoft Excel worksheet object. As you can see below, this inserts the picture, but it creates a shortcut to the source file so that any changes that we make are represented in our presentation. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna resize this so we can see it better. And that's brought through our table now. If I bring up Excel beside our PowerPoint presentation and make a change to our revenue figure, you can see that it automatically updates straight into our presentation. If for any reason it doesn't, you can come over to your PowerPoint, right click on the object and press update link and then that will refresh the links. If you want to make any changes to the format of the table, these need to be done in Excel. So for example, if I come up to table design, and select a different table design, you can see that that automatically updates in the PowerPoint presentation. But this can't be done in the presentation itself, it needs to be done in Excel. Now let's head back to Excel and bring in our chart to our PowerPoint presentation. We're going to select the chart, press Ctrl C, and go straight back to our PowerPoint presentation. Select our second slide, come up to the paste icon again, and this time we're going to select this keep source formatting and link data. Just going to move that across. Again, if I bring up Excel next to our PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to change the value of our banana cupcake to 50,000. And you'll see that in our presentation that immediately updates to the 50,000 there. I'm just gonna undo that. Within our PowerPoint presentation, we have the ability to make a lot more changes to the format of our chart. Up here, we have the chart design. We can select from different designs within here. And also, we have the ability to even change the chart type itself without it changing the Excel model. So we could, if we wanted to, change this to a line chart. Although in this case, a column chart is a lot more suitable. So we'll just undo that change. Any changes that you make in the data in the Excel file should automatically update in your PowerPoint presentation. But for whatever reason, if they don't, if you come up to the chart design and press refresh data, that will then apply those changes. So there you are. Hopefully you'll be able to use this in your next presentation and save a bit of time. Let me know if you found this useful, and if you did, please give the video a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.